Hello everyone, my name is Parth and I welcome you to our channel Must Watch Tips. Today I am going to show how to make this presentation of timelines using PowerPoint. Here I have showcased 5 events year wise and I will be showing you how to make this step by step. So without wasting time, now let's quickly get into the video. Now for the animation, uh, this one where the text box is coming from behind the mountains, I have made a separate video on this. So I will be providing the link in the description and you can watch it from there. So that video includes how to remove the background from this mountain image and how to add a text box behind that mountain. And I will be showing you uh, how to add this animation. Uh, you can see that the white line will go from this to the mountain border like this. and then. We have the timelines from 1947, then 1988, the third event 2004, 2019, and then 2024, the fifth event. So go to the video description if you want to uh, know how to add, how to remove the background and how to add the text boxes behind the mountain. And let us start making this animation of event timelines in this video. So once you remove the background from the image, your image will look like this. You have only mountains in your image. Now, if you want, if you don't want to remove the background from PowerPoint, you can simply download the PNG image where the background from the image is already removed. So that's that would be more easy, but you will hardly get an image of good quality where the background is already removed. So that's your ways you can uh, remove from the way which I showed, or you can directly choose the PNG image. Now, after you remove the background, let us go to Insert. Uh, okay, first of all, let's uh, change the background. So we will say gradient fill and then we will choose three different colors. But first of all, let us take a blue over here, this one, and we can take light blue color over here. So this background would be fine. Now let us take uh, a line. So we will go to insert shape. And let us choose this line. It is called curve. So I'll select this. And now, uh, what I will do is, I will start making line from here like this. Then I will click again over here because it is a curve. So wherever there is a curve, I will uh, click here and then uh, move to the next curve. So in this way, I'll make the line throughout the border of the mountain. So after you complete making the line, it will look like this. And now I will go to shape format and in the shape outline, let us choose a thick line. So we will go to a more option and then we can have the width of the line around 15 points. And let us take a white color of that line. Perfect. Now let us bring this uh, mountain to front. So right click and bring that to front. And we will arrange this uh, image like this. Now, one thing you might find challenging is that selecting that white line because we have brought this uh, mountain on the top. So, we will go to selection pane. If you don't have selection pane, then you can go to file and then you have an options where you have an option of quick access toolbar and then you can add selection pane by clicking on this add button from uh, left hand side. Now we'll go to selection pane and select the free form shape file that is our line. Uh, this enables you to select the line. Now let us go to animation and let us add animation of wipe. And in the effect option, we will select from left to right. So this is how it looks like. Let us increase its duration to 1.5. So this is how it will work. Now after this animation, let us add the timeline, uh, five timeline or the four timelines, as many as you want. So let me go to insert shape and then I'll make a circle uh, with no outline. And first we will select the white color circle. 
and in this we will make another circle so i'll press ctrl d to duplicate this first i will change its color from white to light or sky blue then i'll position it like this then i'll press again ctrl d and change its color to dark blue and then i'll make it it in the center so this is how the circle will look like now let us add a line so for that i'll again go to insert shape and then i will select the line and by holding shift button i can make a straight line so whenever you uh, want to make a straight line just hold the shift button like this i'll make the line like this uh, in the shape outline let us choose a uh, let us change the color to white let us bring this to back and this is our first tower or the first timeline is built now i'll add the text boxes for example let us say the event was occurred on 1947 so i'll just uh, put the year you can put the date over here as well the first event now let us add animation so i'll go to animation and add a zoom in animation and that zoom in is on click now to this circles let us add one uh, more animation so uh, for the white circle let us select again the zoom in animation that would be after previous we want to copy the same animation to the circle uh, the sky blue circle so we will select the white circle then i'll go to animation painter and i'll select the sky blue circle so the animation is copied then again i'll go to animation painter and select the navy blue or dark blue circle so that's how the animation is copied from one object to another and then we will add animation to this line uh, wipe animation from uh, top to bottom and this will be uh, after previous so if you look so if we want to see how the animation looks like the order of animation we will go to animation pane and the first is the line uh, this line the second is the text box zoom in then we have the oval white oval sky blue oval the dark blue oval and the straight line then so if i click on play button or the preview button the animation will look like this so for this uh, ovals let us change the duration to 0.25 seconds and now let us see how it looks perfect so this is how we add animation to the first timeline then we will select all this then press ctrl d to duplicate this and we will place it to the second one so we will make the second uh, uh, timeline so i'll change this to 1961 i'll call it as second event the animation will be the same as one so you can see that this text box is on click so the second event will only appear after you click on the slide then the following animations which we applied in the first uh, timeline so this is how it will look first the line of the mountain border then the first event then the second event so in similar way you can add more events in this mountains line and after completing your uh, presentation it will look like this so make sure you don't skip the animation part uh, if your animations are perfect then your presentation will look like an awesome presentation so after you complete your presentation will look like this so this will be the first part where we uh, say these are the timeline presentation and then we will then we will show the timelines so i hope you like this video please consider subscribing to our channel and share it with your friends you can always give your feedback in the comment box given below and now it's time to say you goodbye till then have a great rest of your day